Good morning everyone, it's Kate from Wild Tales of. We hope you're having an awesome day. We've made it to Homer, Alaska. We got in last night and you can watch our adventure there um, in back in our previous video. But we are just wandering, we're taking some trails that lead right from our rental house and just kind of making our way into town. And we just stopped at the Pratt Museum to learn a little bit about the history and how people started coming to Homer in the first place. So this is the Pratt Museum. We're not gonna be able to go inside while we're here because it's not open until Thursday. But oh, I found we can the other one. look around the grounds. Pratt Museum. Look at this book coming in handy here. The only natural history museum on the Kenai Peninsula. Pratt Museum features both indoor and outdoor attractions including the historic Harrington Homestead Cabin where kids can see firsthand how folks lived without television, electric lights, and BVR. So it's basically a natural history museum all about the Kenai Peninsula. And these are all like the local plants. And so, and then, yes, this area is a botanical garden. This is Old Town Homer. Ooh, there's wild honey. Those are all Look at all these buoys up there. Check this out. Do not climb. Here's how you get in. Dun dun. But it's closed. We just stopped at the visitor center in Homer and first we talked to a gentleman all about the, I think it's called the King Salmon Tournament. If I'm wrong, I'll, I'll put the right name down there, but they have it every year. And so fishermen go out on their boats and they try to catch the biggest salmon of the day. And a 15 year old won this year with about 28 pound salmon and king salmon and his brother his little brother actually won last year so it's kind of a neat family and he was only 10 and he was only 10 good one georgia so we talked to the gentleman all about that and we're really bummed because we actually could have booked it here yesterday and kind of seen a little bit of the action but we decided to take our time but if we had realized all that was happening we would have not stopped in all the places that we did but oh well so then the other thing is is we talked to Jan and she's the director of the visitors center we we just definitely recommend that if you are coming to Homer to stop in at the visitors center and they're just really nice people there and they will get 
out maps and they'll orient you and so we got a big orientation of the area recommendations on where to go and especially geared towards our kids some things are going to be closed here but there's just so much to do even with that and so we're continuing on our walk it's the winter king salmon tournament there we go normally they before last year, they have it in March. Last year, they decided to delay it by a month because of just the way COVID was going on. And it actually ended up being a really good thing. So they tried it again this year. So out here is Bishop's Beach. You can walk along these boardwalks. We're gonna save it for later on when it is low tide. This is the Alaska Islands and Ocean Visitors Center. It looks amazing inside, but unfortunately it's closed right now. But if you're here when it is open, we definitely recommend going inside. It's part of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. And it's free. Where we were walking before you get to the ocean is down here is a slough. That's what that's called. So we're going into Nomar, and that's where they make neat stuff. They made this bag out of fishing nets. So we're going to go see what else they make. Grace Ridge Brewery, Brewing. This is Brewery. a new location. Yeah, you can see they're working on it. They've just been here for six weeks and they were so nice because they're not even open till three and it's about 2.30 and they let us come in yeah. to try their beer. Could tell I was a beer drinker. <laughs> you, what'd you get? You got the blonde. That's the blonde. Got the blonde. He loves it. And this is the Belgian pale ale really good and I wanted to show what we got at the Homer bookstore so this is what Georgia got it's Balto in the Great Race it's like a really cool venture book and then I got this new book called Cold Mountain Path I actually read about it in the Seattle Times and it's an autograph copy the ghost town decades of McCarthy Kennecott Alaska and then Bergen decided to get the Call of the Wild graphic novel. How cool is that? Georgia also wanted to show you her narwhal erasers. They're scented. <laughs> now Slade. We're gonna take a quick break but then we're gonna go down and get hopefully some fish mm -hmm. to grill. We're clocking in at 
17,833 steps for that. Morning slash afternoon. Back up for the moose. I like how you kneel. Really committed. Here's the safe way. Oh, so we're on, on the road now. Here's the safe way where Bergen and Slate got us groceries uh -oh. yesterday. They're picketing at Wells Fargo. Oh. Stop funding fossil fuels. So we're waking our way to the fish market. A good dinner. Get some potatoes. Oh, that's what we're doing. Oh, or maybe some leftover mac and, and cheese. And I got a clown fish. Nice. One of the most famous saloons in all of the United States. The Salty Dog Saloon. Salt. this about? This is the Homer Truffle Company. It closes at six. Ooh. Five more minutes and it's not open tomorrow. Go rush. flavors and this is kind of a green and then we picked out a bunch of truffles but he shrink wrapped it for us so we're actually going to save these for a couple days because we already have ice cream and so we'll show you in maybe when we get to seward we'll show you the different truffles we got <laughs> Well, we're gonna call it a night. Thanks for joining us on our big adventure day in Homer. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and we'd love to have you subscribe so you can join us for more adventures. Tomorrow, we're gonna focus a little bit more on the Homer Spit, so join us for our next video, and we hope you're staying happy and healthy, and we hope you are getting out and having some brave wild adventures, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.